So I'm spending today on the table project and I've got two things to do. Uh, firstly you can see the metalwork down here uh, which is going to provide the uh, base for the uh, open end of the table. Um, I've got uh, two pieces which I've got to weld together. They're going to be the fixed end bracket. Not easy with one hand. And then I've got the table supports uh, out of 10mm mild steel. And then here I've got the uh, legs and the uh, feet um, support brackets which uh, will be ins inserted inside a leg. However, it's too big. I've got to cut it down. Well, that's no big deal. I can do that. Um, then I'm building up the router sled, get that last bit, last two pieces of that in. Um, very straightforward. Um, what I've done is I've uh, sorted out the uh, lateral bars, beams, um, put some support feet on. These are off. Uh, uh, a bath actually, well several baths, um, the sort of uh, brackets that go under, or channels that go under a bathtub to support it, um, have these feet on, which are in this instance 10mm and go through the uh, aluminium channel quite nicely, so I can use them to level it, that's quite straightforward. Uh, then I've got the actual sled itself, um, which is quite good. I'm quite happy with that, although I just need to sort out the fact that it waggles a bit. Uh, those cross bars will need to just get cut down a tad, and I can assemble that outside. Um, then I'm committing my customers' money, and I start to cut timber. Ooh, scary. There we go, one set of steel work, and uh, yeah, okay, the welding wasn't, uh, shall we say, up to code, um, but effective, and um, ain't going to fall apart, that's for sure. So, uh, what we do now is uh, 
find a wet bit, which I have around the back of the garage, and let it rust. Develop a bit of uh, patina. So uh, there we go. Right. Good morning, and it's a rather breezy Sunday morning, hence the tea mug. Oh, and the radio, of course, most important components of the job. And I finished building the router sled. Hopefully, uh, to those of you who've not come across one before, this will make more sense now. And what it is, we have two parallel rails and uh, well, cross beams onto which the workpiece is mounted and then a carriage that will slide it along and then the router that's on it slides backwards and forwards and then the blade underneath, let me just tilt this back the blade underneath which is a rather aggressive um, surface mill uh, will mill a flat surface on the workpiece now, what I've done is just clamp it down, wedge it at that side so it doesn't rock, and then just pack it into the side so it doesn't move laterally. And uh, because I'm going to be coming this way with the router with successive um, strokes. So uh, I've leveled it up, I've got eight feet to level out which isn't it looks as though it could be really difficult to get level but it isn't because what i used if i can see it here it is is a piece of aluminium channel this is off a, a shower screen frame uh, that is got a straight edge on it which you can just about see and laid it on the um on the bed and just adjusted the feet up and down as necessary. So the easy way to do it is to lift the middle ones up and then just adjust the four outers and then drop the middles to uh, just take any load. Is it precise to a hundredth of a millimetre? No, of course it isn't. Is it good enough? Yes, it is. So, um, so I'm going to have a go now. Um, just have a, a play. This is a, an off cut. The four table planks are there. And we've got some bits and pieces. That's going to be making breadboard ends. That's going to be used for other bits and pieces. And the two little ones are for tryouts and uh, tenons, dowels, and all that sort of stuff. So, um, so let me get me uh, action cam set up, and we'll we'll have a go. This is first tryout. Never used it before. Let's see what happens.
Well, that worked really well. Apart from the fact that um, it was chucking out bits of wood at me at about a million miles an hour, and by gum it stung. So uh, a little board to protect me from uh, injury. Um, but yeah, no, that's really good. Really happy with that. Uh, see how it comes. Get a belt sander on that. See what happens. See what it looks like.